YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Champion Horse Racing. I haven't played this game in months, and it's actually my best performing video on the channel, so it's kind of a shame that I haven't really taken advantage of that. And I actually really enjoy this game. I just kind of fell off of it, like I do a lot of other games, except for Horse Racing Manager 2. The game actually pisses me off. Excuse my language. Anyways, we have six horses in our stable. The last time I played, I don't think I had half this amount. Um, so I'm going to kind of give you guys the run, well not the run now, we're just going to play. We're going to play, I'll introduce you guys to the horses obviously as we go through training them and putting them in races. So first up, Flame Warrior. Flame Warrior is our colt. In fact, actually all my horses are colts except for Blue and Ruby. This is, this is Blue and Ruby. She's the only horse that's a, um, filly. Everybody else is a colt. So yeah, Flame Warrior. We'll start off with him. Uh, he likes to go... He, his race distance preference is 1,000 to 2,400 meters, and he likes to run on tracks that are clockwise with the turf surface. So, with all that being said, this is how he looks. He's got the pink and the blue. Get up there. Uh, I just went with the pink just because. I don't know why. I like it. Anyway, these are his stats. So, we can see his fatigue level in the upper right-hand corner underneath uh, the blue Colt um, symbol, which is underneath his rating, which is only an overall of 79. Uh, his conditioning is at 89%. His fatigue level is at 40. So we got to raise that conditioning while also lowering the fatigue. He's really not a bad horse to consider. Be considering that he's only he's a five-star rarity horse with a rating of 79, and he's two years and 11 months old. So he's approaching his three-year um, marker. As you can see here, um, as far as the actual individual abilities he has underneath the status, you can see speed, ability, turf, gait, willpower. Where you see all these B pluses and Bs, that's pretty solid. Like he's actually a solid horse overall. Um, as far as the record is concerned, he's had seven races. I don't think we've won with him yet. We've had a third place, two basically last place finishes, eighth place, third, third, and seventh. So, as you can see, where we're kind of still figuring things out with him, and uh, we need to get him into another race. But let's go ahead and reduce that fatigue. To the best of our abilities um so let's see carrots i think are free right yeah carrots are free reduce the fatigue down you also want to keep the horses weight up it's a good mixture of reducing fatigue and keeping the weight i like to keep the weight usually 1100 ish if i can it's not a big deal if i don't but if it goes too light then obviously the horse's performance will suffer and i think what reduces uh fatigue as well is let's see Huh. I thought there was something else. I know the um the spell taking the horse away for a month reduces fatigue, but that's not really what I want, unfortunately. And everything else is just to kind of raise this conditioning. Um so that's actually that's all we can really do. Horse just completed a race and requires rest, so yeah, we'll wait. I keep forgetting their fatigue will drop eventually. Um everybody's fatigue is kinda high right now, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to our next horse. He's a stud, 37%. Give him a carrot. In fact, that's what I'm going to do for all my horses this week, um, if I can. Some of them I probably already have done so. Just going to give them a carrot just to get that fatigue reduced. Our Philly Blue and Ruby. And one here for I Am Confused. So let's just go ahead and fast forward to next month. And now we are in year four of December. So... There's a lot of other stuff in this game. There's auctioning, there's breeding. I'm not getting into that yet because I haven't done my research on it. So I'm still just kind of building up, um, you know, my horses and figuring out the best way to win races the most. This is a really fun game, by the way, if you haven't played it. Extremely fun. Um, let's go ahead and give Flame Warrior another carrot to reduce that fatigue. Conditioning, not great. We may wait on racing him until his fatigue is at zero. Uh, he's a stud. Fatigue's at 17%. King De Oro. Definitely got to reduce his quite a bit, so he won't be racing for a while. Blue and Ruby, she's pretty much ready to go. Fatigue is at 0%. Her overall rating is a 93. She's actually our mayor, excuse me, not a filly. And um, her dirt rating is not good. Her speed and stamina are blah, and they're, they're maxed out. Her conditioning could be a little bit better. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with her. Did not have her, for, uh, to have her conditioning go up while also not driving her... Uh, fatigue up too much. Let's see. Her current conditioning is at a... What is her current conditioning? Current conditioning is a 91. So, um, we might be okay just to put her in a race or put her on a dirt gallop trial. Try to get that dirt rating from an F to an F+. It's better than nothing. We'll go ahead and, um... 
let's actually do let's see pair gallop enhance we do an enhanced gallop per fatigue goes up to 15 percent but our conditioning goes up to 99 we'll go ahead and do that and as you can see your horses run against each other blue and ruby she is the one with the jockey with the pink cap on and the blue um blue reins okay Blissful age, 19%. Uh, we'll get him in a race as well. His conditioning is at 93%. And the nine confuses at three. So all these horses are pretty much ready to go. And we're going to get them in the race. So Blue and Ruby, let's go ahead and find a race for her. She likes to go 18 to 2400 meters counterclockwise. Okay, so. Um, let's see. The only problem with this game is when it comes to making videos is the games happen in like real time, like real minutes, real seconds. So you kind of have to wait. Um, to watch your horse race, unfortunately. Um, so we're looking for counterclockwise. It's clockwise. This is counter. River City, can we enter her in that race? Yes, we can. It's 1,800 meters. Churchill, handicap 132 pounds allowance. And we'll go ahead and get Maxime G as the jockey. Jockey V is 30%. No big deal. So Blue and Ruby, she's ready to go. Who else? Uh, we want to get... Uh, we can't even look at the fatigue here, which is kind of annoying. Oh, yes, we can. Uh, we want to get I Am Confused, and he's a stud. So I Am Confused. This horse likes to race counterclockwise as well on the turf, so let's look for a race for him. Um, let's see. That is clockwise. We need a counterclockwise race. Not... I think the nearest counterclockwise race is... We're weighted for everything. What's the weight restriction? Not the age restriction. Um, horse will bear extra weight. Performance will be hampered. Oh, okay. That's what it means. I still kind of want to get the horse into a race just to kind of show you guys how it goes. Um, oh, here's one. The, the Dane Hill Stakes, which is in seven minutes. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to cost 24. And Jockey will get Y or E, E data. That'll be the Jockey. And one more horse. I think I am. No, he's a stud, right? I think that's the one I wanted to get. All this looks very confusing, but I promise the more you play the game, it becomes very, very, very easy to navigate through. Um, so obviously, here's our horses list with all of our horses. He's a stud, the one we have highlighted right now. Fatigue's only at 17%, and he likes to run on counterclockwise tracks as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to find him a race like that too. Um, let's see. Current race. Can we do this one? Is it too soon? No, we can just watch this race. Not what I want to do. I already have a horse nominated for the Dane Hill Stakes in Tokyo. Only other race we can get him in is this Happy Valley Stakes, um, which is in 19 minutes, but it's not counterclockwise. So what I'm going to do with these uploads, which is kind of a pain, but it is what it is. I'm going to have to stop recording once we've gotten everything set up and come back once the race actually starts in real time. It's, it's going to be a little tricky to actually record these series unless I did longer videos but like I said when you set up your horses I don't, there's really not much else to there's not much else I want to do there's not much else to do in between unless you have like a hundred horses and I still not mastered this game to go that far so I don't want to do that um we're looking for a counterclockwise track here and there's one for Aristotle which is in 20 minutes and it's on dirt He's a stud at that hoover. Yeah, he doesn't. He he likes turf. In fact, all my horses like turf. But it's a chance to see the horse in a race. Um, at Churchill Downs, twelve hundred meters for a Grade Three. Let's go ahead and do it. And jockey, we will get Johnny M. He'll take twenty percent. That's fine with me. So we got our races lined up. So we have a race in five minutes, a race in twenty-four minutes, and a race in an hour. So I'm gonna have to set a timer here in reality. I'm gonna try to get all these done hopefully in this video if I can. But for sure we're gonna get to see I'm confused. Uh, we're gonna see our cult there. And then we'll get to see our mayor, Blue and Ruby. And then we'll also get to see our other cult. He's a stud. So we got one grade two race here for I Am Confused with the Dane Hill Stakes. We have a grade three race at River City with Blue and Ruby. And then we have another grade three race at Aristotle with He's a Stud. So we'll be back once it is time to watch I Am Confused here in the Dane Hill Stakes grade two race. Okay, guys, so we are back. It is about to be our first race, Grade Two Hill, or Grade Two, excuse me, Dane Hill Stakes here with I Am Confused. This is our horse that we're seeing on screen right now, number five. Wearing the blue mask, red reins, of course, tape. I like the look. Um, and we are racing only, we're racing two other real players. The real players are the ones whose 
Um, bars are highlighted with kind of this turquoise blue. So Splendid Match is a real player. Storm Cummings is a real player. Four Leaf Clover is a real player. Um, and Red Hot Imp is a real player. Most of the people I've noticed, their horses are pretty bland. And that's because, obviously, the stuff you put on your horses does um, actually hinder or increase their uh, performance. Um, but fortunately, this field, actually, people have kind of done some cool stuff with their horses. So let's see where we're currently scheduled to finish here. And um, our odds currently are six, just six flat. So we're not actually too bad, actually, compared to the other horses. Oh, the favorite is Red Hot Imp. That's the number one horse going off at five to two. So it kind of gives you an idea of that. You can look through so much stuff. It's really a lot to explain, obviously. You can look through everybody's um, ratings, their their ages, their weight, um, their positioning, what they have on their horses, um, You know their, their recent results. So you can kind of see how they've done. I Am Confused has won a couple of races for us. We look to pretty, pretty much be one of the most dominating horses in the field despite not being um, the favorite. And, um, yeah, it's really, really cool stuff. As far as our running pre uh, preference is concerned, we're going to be a front runner. And I think we can manage with that. I think I'll stick with that. I don't really want to change it. Sometimes I don't mind being a closer um, in these races because uh, the closers can really, really turn up on the rest of the field. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and, yeah, we're going to put ourselves as a closer. Um, not not a comp or maybe a stalker closer is pretty much like at the very very back of the pack we're close enough to it though i'm gonna do that i think our horse is gonna have a really good run and um hopefully we'll have the stamina to really run these horses down in the end i've noticed this is what usually works best for i am confused so we're gonna watch this race happen and depending on how much space i have left over after this recording we may try to watch another one but the next races aren't for a little bit of time but that's the only problem with this game using real time is that for videos it, it's going to be hard you know i can't just wait around for an hour waiting for my race to happen but i can rewatch it i can rewatch it so maybe that's what i'll have to do just kind of set up the races go through the training of the horses and everything that i do and then um, whenever i get time come back i can watch the replay uh with you guys and even though i already know the results because i show it to you but you can at least watch it's race day here at the dane hill stakes let's go this game is awesome. This game is really, really fun, man. And we're off. So I am confused. Gets a really good start out here. And now we've kind of uh, tapered back to where we want to be. Um, as far as the camera angle is concerned, this will straighten out eventually. I forgot how long this race is. Um, it, it will shape up. But right now, we are... What number are we? I can't recall. Are we the five horse? I think we're the five. This might just be a... I'm not sure if this is a straight race or not. I can't remember the distance. I really can't that quick. Okay, we're the five horse. Obviously, this um, the way the the screen at the top moves in terms of like who's in first, who's in second. It's based off of how you know the racing is in Japan. Okay, this is a very quick race. We're on the stretch already. Here comes I am confused, flying up to here on the middle. If I tap my screen, you see that that is our horse, yellow silks, pink cap. I am confused, flying up. We might get this race. And look at that. Look at I Am Confused rolling. We're going to get this win. What a win. What a win for I Am Confused. I love that horse, man. It was actually a really smart idea picking the pre our racing preference to be kind of a, a stalker. Worked out for us, and we get that dub. And the grade 2 Dane Hill Stakes. Look at that. Red Hot Imp, the favorite, came in third place. I Am Confused with E.E. E. Data. In the saddle, get us the win here today. What a win. That feels fantastic. And that is exactly how you want things to be done in this game. Next race is in 17 minutes with Blue and Ruby. I'm going to see if I can set my timer for that. Actually, I need to set it for like 15 because you need about three minutes to get to the race and set everything up to make sure you're ready to go. Um, so, yeah, we get our first race with I Am Confused. Great, great win. Really proud of that. And, um, yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to get more into trying to get to the bigger championship races once I really sit down and do some more research. I'll probably have to just play more off-screen, record some things, so I kind of have an idea of uh, what's going on. But, yeah, very good effort, very good results. Our rating goes from a 107 to a 110. This horse pretty much maxed out on his stats, but you can see just how well he's doing. And um, this is, I am confused, is actually my first horse, so pretty incredible.